Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Selesnia tokens. So we have had a donation to build a Selesnia tokens deck and I'm uh, with a Johnny the Great Hearted in it. And I'm going with a pretty stock uh, list of like what's pretty popular, uh, especially from last format, um, but having, you know, a Johnny in here because the Johnny does look like it's a really nice addition to the deck. Looking through, well, I guess here we'll talk about Ajani here real quick. So yeah, not only, you know, the gain three life, that's fine. You know, it's great against mono red, but the minus two of putting a one-one counter on each creature you control uh, can really get out of hand with the ability to go wide that we have. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Uh, love that minus two here. We can do it multiple times. Also, we can, uh, you know, do it twice. Um, and also, you know, we give our creatures vigilance. You know, we get to attack, still play defense. Also, you know, be able to do both of those. Um, Especially like the vigilance with uh, Venerate Luxodon or Conclave Tribunal or March of the Multitudes, all these convoke spells of like being able to attack first and then afterwards convoke. That is just really nice. It's like one of the reasons why History Banalia is so good with all those convoke spells. Now we can give all of our creatures that. So that's that's also just a, a really nice ability that's maybe a little overlooked on this card. Uh, sorry, besides that, uh, there wasn't really any other uh, cards that I wanted in the main deck from War of the Spark. Looking over the list, I don't think there's anything else that was better than anything else we have going on. But sideboard, I thought Gideon Blackblade could be a really nice sideboard card against Control. Our deck does kind of struggle against Esper Control. That's one of Selesnya Token's uh, worst matchups because of all the sweepers. And hopefully Gideon Blackblade can kind of help that uh, matchup being a cheap threat that can win the game quickly on its own kind of thing so yeah i like having the black blade in here also playing a return to nature just to kill those reclamations um but then you know also instead of crushing canopy costing three mana i'm going with the return to nature that can yeah still kill um a reclamation but then uh, also good against arc light phoenix which arc light phoenix has been a pretty popular card so far uh, in War of the Spark because of the new tools it's gotten. So we can get rid of a an Arclight Phoenix also, or destroy a Bolus Citadel. You know, if we play against a Bolus Citadel deck, we can destroy that too. So, first little card. Uh, I like it. And that's what we got. We got another Ajani in here for control as well. Let's give it a try. We'll go ahead and head on over to the ranked matches. Our The ranked stuff just reset a little bit ago. We got a new season here. We're kicking, starting off at like plat four. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, Johnny and Amara, that's like the one that's not really a combo. Because, yeah, giving giving Amara Vigilance is actually not good. That's, like, the one card that you don't want to have Vigilance. So that's unfortunate. Raziel with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Raziel. So I got just a tad under three hours to go here in the stream. So we'll play... Selesnia tokens here for like an hour and a half and then Abzan Citadel for an hour and a half. We'll see how many matches that is. That may not be a ton of matches. You know, maybe we're only playing like four matches. Like, not sure yet, but kind of play it on clockwise. Yeah, Return to Nature is just better than Naturalize. Yep. Kitty's name is Hawkeye. You good kitty. Tide Taker is good against blue decks. Ooh, a blue green. Not you. Blue green deck. Let's get Amara out there for the clock of, you know. 
they both attack for two the first time, but then Amara attacks for three the second time and attacks for four the next time and so on. Attack. Alright, so definitely playing Tight Taker here. And then. Uh, do I play Legion's Landing or not? I think the answer is yes. All right, there's the Wilderness Reclamation. So their end step, they're going to have to cast their Chemister's Insight because if they wait till my turn, then the Tithe Taker makes it cost one more. I wish Tithe Taker was like, you know, spells not not cast during the opponent's main phase cost one more instead of just spells during your turn. That'd help out a tad bit better. <clears throat> we were six and one with Simic mid range a little bit ago because I played one r match of ranked just to raise up our rank, make sure that we were stayed in top thousand, and then I didn't really want to play more because we were comfortably in there. You know, we were at like three hundred and fifty or something, and so then I went over to the regular queue and went five and one in it in the traditional league. Why not cast Tristani before attacks? Because we didn't have the mana to. We had to attack to flip this Legion's Landing into first fort. And then after it flipped, then we had the five mana to cast the Tristani. So we did not have the ability to cast it earlier, unfortunately. <laughs> That's true. Tithe Digger doesn't really need the buff, but against Wilderness Reclamation, it does. <laughs> They're not playing like settle or anything. I guess if they had if they had like a bounce spell for Tristani, you want to make sure that we still have lethal. So they only get four of those. One down. Yep. This was a really bad turn for us. This was a really bad turn for us. I am Tamio. It is an that just honor gets the to fog back. You. Oh. I think you will find. They probably have another. I mean, I guess they have another fog in hand, which makes it really bad for us. that flips search game could just be over I think it I guess it's probably just over I don't think we get another turn I mean I guess it you know depends if they hit as cancer or they you know they hit Nexus but they kind of have to right Man, the Simic Nexus deck is so ridiculous they were on a mold of five and we curved out well and just, you know, can't win. Can't beat Root Snare. So what are they going to do with the Tamiyo? Are they going to grab the Root Snare? Wow, they are... Let me aid your research. They are not... going the safe route. 
Uh, they found Nexus. All right, that's that's game. Okay, so let's get uh, the Return to Nature plus the Night of Autumns in here. We'll see if that's enough for us. Do I want Gideon Blackblade? We don't like we just don't need March of the Multitudes. Like that card's out. So like that's that's what we're doing to start with. Now, do we want Gideon Blackblade? Does that does does this speed up our clock? I do like the you know at six loyalty. I think I do like Gideon Blackblade. I think I like at six loyalty. We get to you know exile non-land permanent. We can exile reclamation. It's another thing to get rid of reclamation. And that means I'm going to cut Tristani. It's just expensive. All right, last card is a Johnny. Do we want a Johnny in here? They could be playing one Krasis. They could be playing one Command the Dreadhorde. For a win con, I've seen. I've seen some people just play one of the bounce spell that makes a one one because you just get it because you know you take you take all the turns you just get a loop and just keep making it from a one one to a two two to a three three and you just keep on and you know you just bounce stuff. So basically, instead of one of the it just takes up one of the slots of the uh, into the royal or like in, instead of one of the blink of an eyes you just play that card. No, I think Luxodon is faster than Harpooner. Luxodon is really fast. It's it's a really good card for us. It's like we'll play Sapling Migration on turn two. Turn three, we'll play Migration plus Luxodon, and we'll have um, twelve power on the battlefield on turn three. still do that if I play Amara if I play Amara I don't get to play Luxit on the next turn right because Amara is two or so like with the migration that'd be three creatures so yeah this is the way to be able to play Luxit on the next turn yeah so that's that could be their win con just that that card right there That was a huge turn for our opponent, you know, like now we have nowhere near the amount of power we would have had. I have no idea. I don't know why I would give you four bars for your ranked best of three. I don't I don't know. How is Wilderness Reclamation and Nexus not banned? I don't know. It's they just they made the deck a lot better. Like they they just gave these cards so many more tools. Maybe I mean honestly that could be a good thing. Maybe it will get banned now. That'd be that'd be kind of nice. I think I want Amara to be a three three. Because of the grazer. Oh yeah, it's reclamation is the whole problem. Yeah, you, you don't need like Nexus doesn't really need to be banned. It's it's all rec it's all reclamation. It's just an uncommon. Also, like they've been, they have they have definitely shown that they are willing to ban like uncommons like that. You know, they're not, like, expensive mythics that, you know, people spend a lot of money on a Nexus of Fate, for example, but don't really spend much money on a, on a, 
Um, on a wilderness reclamation. Don't have any more of our disenchant effects. I guess we don't have a ton of disenchant effects. We have... I mean, we have eight in the deck. We've drawn one with the Knight of Autumn. We have three... Because we have three Knight of Autumns, the one uh, you know, new naturalized, and we have the four Conclave Tribunals. Tamiel's pretty absurd with this deck, though. You just don't have to play. You're know, like, Tamiel just getting your stuff back whenever they destroy it. It it allows you to not really have to play win cons, because, you know, they, like, it's very possible their only thing to win the game is this one callous dismissal, because you can have Tamiel pick it back up. It is really obnoxious. They may have sideboarded in more things. Maybe not. To the library. The new would the new Vivian fit? The deck doesn't play a ton of creatures. You know, you're looking at like Amara, Tithe Taker, Venerate, the Luxodon. I think there's one other one that I'm Maybe there's one other creature. Oh yeah, Tristani. And Tristani. What a strange and magnificent world. I'm not The land fights for us. I don't think you need new Vivian in this deck. I don't think that's really what the the deck's about. We needed a second piece of interaction. We had our one Night of Autumn. We really needed one other piece of interaction. You know, we needed one more Disenchant effect. Um, you know, another Tribunal. Some, 
or Knight of Autumn, you know, we needed we needed two of our eight. Just one wasn't good enough. Even with that really fast clock, that that turn two bounce spell they had, make a one one was. That just was devastating. Also, that slowed me down so much. All right, this is what we got. I think we usually do okay against Mono White. Uh, I don't know about this game with us being on five cards, but I think in general, I think we usually do okay. We can go even wider than they can. Yeah. Lutz, you're enjoying the Orzhov midrange? Nice. Yeah, I'll be playing that, that one again soon. Maybe tomorrow. Um... Or maybe either tomorrow or the next day. I'll, I'll play that deck again in the next two days. Yeah, glad you're enjoying it. Honor and courage. If I have to light the way, I will. Yes, I could. I could trade my one knight for like their knight and vampire, but that's just not a, a good trade for us because of how we want to go wide with March here. Only dropped games to a Rakdo sack deck and Esper. So I could have attacked with the five fours with with these I things and seen if they would have blocked the with like two two twos, but I believe in you. Hmm, Gideon Blackblade. I mean, well, they would have been able to block with a 3-3 and a 2-2. All attacking me? That's fine. I will take it. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Legion's Landing is French for the Goines Landing. My strength gave out.
Back up to 24. It's a nice, healthy life total. And uh, we'll be able to march here at end step for... So I'll just do it now. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then I'll be able to minus two a Johnny again, put a counter on all those things, attack them, kill them. All right, Knight of Autumns, going to come in clutch here. Well, Johnny the Greyhearted was awesome. We were going to be able to minus it three times, make those things real big. Like our one ones were going to be three threes there. So if we bring in Baffling End and Knight of Autumn, I think my cuts are actually the Tithe Takers and Legion's Landing. Yeah. That's the cut there. You just gotta tap your arc bow then. <clears throat> it's been twenty minutes on game one. How have you not conceded? If you like are how are they taking all the turns? I oh, we just have to keep. <clears throat> I don't like having the two Tristanis with two lands. I really wish we had like one Tristani. Oh, they just take four minutes every turn. They haven't casted Nexus yet. Wow. Yeah, that sounds horrible. I think I'm going to race a 2-3 flyer. I don't think I need to take a turn off to Baffling End that. I would, I'd rather save the Baffling End for uh, Benelish Marshall. Looks like I will likely be going with that thing now. Likely be Baffling End next to Meek next turn. We just need to draw land here. I don't think it's worth it for me to trade Luxodons and deal them eight, because then they get to attack back for a bunch and flip Legion's Landing. Okay, so they're still going to flip Landing. We're going to kill this thing. We'll trade two 2-2s two, for a 5-5. Five, five. Get, get those things out of there. Yeah, Night of Autumn art-wise looks awesome. 
These 3D cards are so cool. It did not look great as far as like cards I could draw go. Yeah, I think Tamink's a good card. You get Pressure's Planeswalkers pretty well. There's a whole lot of stuff on the ground. Like, flying is really important, as we see, like, the strength of Mono Blue. And, like, Drake's is, like, that flying. Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid card. This first fort's going to do a lot of work for them. We draw March of the Multitudes, though the game's basically over. That's our our deck. We just we can go way over the top. Come on, come on. Down, 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 down. Yeah, I got top thousand mythic. Yep. All right, we're one on one. This deck plays some pretty fast games, though. Good, we're 30 minutes for two games. Sorry, two matches. So at this rate, we'll be able to play six. That'd be nice. Yeah, Frilled Mystic can stop the Rail Expansion combo. Yep, you just... After the second one's on the stack, then counter. You have to make sure they're both on the stack. We already have five cards in hand, so I'm going to save this for Flourish. I liked the, the Demir uh, Dreadhorde control deck that we played yesterday. Uh, I went 2-2 with it, but I messed up some of the games like they were kind of my fault with the losses but I liked it I think that felt deck felt pretty good I liked what we had going on there cast one of these. I don't think we're going to need to double flourish. This will just make sure that we get to flourish. Oh, Matthew, it's your birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. And our deck can just do some crazy stuff sometimes.
That's a lot of damage. So I guess I should have Return to Nature in for the Phoenix, right? Like, that's what I was saying. They're like, I mean, I guess I put it in the deck. That's like our goal to get rid of a Phoenix. And we have Harpooners. I don't really know what I'm sideboarding out though. I play those for Drakes. <clears throat> well, our opponent didn't do very much. They could have Sahili. Yeah, I could see them having Sahili here. Do I take out a Johnny the Great Hearted? Maybe I do. I guess I probably do here. So I'm taking out one Legion's Landing. And two Tithe Takers for these Harpooners. I kind of want to take out Amara. I'm going to take out one Amara. One Amara, one Tithe Taker. Baffling End can only take the Electromancer. But I don't think we need it. I love I love Venerate Luxodon here and yeah Venerate Luxodon's great yeah Unbreakable Formation is is real good in the deck I'm playing like a Johnny's instead of Unbreakable Formation new a Johnny I've been happy with new a Johnny it was it was better than Unbreakable Formation would have been that previous game against Mono White because you got to do that minus ability would have been able to three times. Behold, There's the Healy or the person that said that you wish that our opponent had Sahili. There you go. There's your Sahili. That wasn't very inventive. Cat's name is Hawkeye. We we have Nua Johnny in the deck. That's what I was just talking about Nua Johnny. That's what I was, I was just talking about. That was a great turn. That was a great turn. I think we're gonna beat this. Some lessons for you all. It's basically draw a harpooner or bust. They're gonna just kill us next turn. They have lethal. And that's why I like Venerate Luxodon. You can get our tokens to be bigger than their tokens early. Important there.
can't keep these things. Five cards can be kind of hard. This this one has a lot of potential for us. Yeah, they discarded the Phoenix to a radical idea. Ready to go. All right, good. No Phoenix. They're discarding. Discarded a Drake. Create great things, you and I. Ugh, it's probably probably game over. Another great hand for them. We we're not beating this hand with five cards. We had a chance here. We're not going to beat Sahili though. Do not mistake Grace. For weakness. I just have to use my mana and get creatures out for Venerate Luxodon. That's awesome. Your pre releases were really packed. That's awesome. Yeah, Arena, yeah, Arena is definitely growing magic. Definitely. That is gross. That is gross. That was quite impressive. All right, one and two. There are so many new players. That's awesome. Hey Muck, yeah, that was yeah, that was really impressive there. Good games. Yeah, that Phoenix deck is looking quite good. All right, 
right, so we got two lands again. Hopefully this time we'll draw some lands. Maybe not, though. We may just sit on two lands again. Hey, Zan. Two, two Tithe Takers were not nearly good enough to beat that Phoenix deck. Could not do it. Alright, so another Nexus deck. We lost last time to it. We'll see if we can uh, beat it this time. It's not, it's not looking good for us at all, but we, the good news is we do have the two you Conclave Tribunals. That's, that's our good news here. And they should be ticking up, I assume, because if they tick Seek down, then and find. their Tamiyo may die to an attack. Alright, so getting the attack in with Amara so we can deal the two damage plus play the Tribunal. Otherwise, we would just be playing the Tribunal and not dealing two. But we'll take the Tamiyo. Our time together is finished. Which, what, what enchantments are you having trouble with? I'm not gonna be able to play anything else with the uh, tribunal by uh, by flipping the first fort. This is really annoying for us. I mean, I, I would I want to take wilderness reclamation here, but we can't because of blast zone. Basically, if they blast zone on four, I wanted to destroy the reclamation also. I haven't been impressed with any feather decks at all yet. I haven't found a, I haven't seen a feather deck that's very good. But I, th I think they're going to need more time for tuning than just a couple of days. There's just so much good removal in standard. So that's one of the things I'm. I, I would probably say the feather the feather decks are the things I'm most disappointed in so far. With, after just kind of like looking at the the set as a whole and then playing, it hasn't looked very impressive. So I cannot have lethal the next turn. I hope they... Do I hope they blast zone right now? Yeah, kind of. I mean, they don't... They won't untap their mana. Yeah. Okay, no. No blast zone.
Of course, playing a Johnny would just have a Johnny get blown up by Blast Zone also. So withdrawing that land, we're going with Tristani. Yeah, I got top thousand Doom Quill. So hopefully they don't find another reclamation. Or a fog. Or an Nexus. Basically all the cards in their deck. <clears throat> Yeah, today's stream with the, this lag has been worse than, like, any other. Our deck is so bad against Root Snare. The best mid-range I've... The <clears throat> I really like the Gruul mid-range deck that I played yesterday. Um, yeah, you can find video, you know, videos on the YouTube channel with us playing the Gruul mid-range. Yesterday, we I took out the Chandra... And a Rhythm of the Wild for the main deck for, for two Kioras. And liked those Kioras. I will teach you humility if I must. Shall always conquer darkness. Hey, what's up, Yud? I know I noted this somewhere. Cool, thank you so much, Yud. I think you will find my notes helpful. Is that it? Do they whiff? So now they're going to ask Kanta to look for a fog. No fog. This deck's so much worse without reclamation. No fog. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, modern. Yeah, kind of miss it sometimes too, NASCAR father, but. Oh well. Alright, bringing all these things. And we cut Tristani in March. Yeah, Soul Time Moldrotha was fun. Yeah, we got to do some really cool things with it. Um, I think the sideboard of the deck needs work, but uh, for like the main deck looking like a bunch, like a pile of janky cards, it was it was pretty sweet. I have not tried black red zombie aristocrats yet um but i uh, i know we have a donation to do a, a black red zombies deck and i was looking at some stuff for it for that deck and so that will be one that we'll play here in the next couple of days
attack. But, so you're saying I feel Bont or God Eternal Bantu is much better than people think. Consider reprocess from Urza's block. Um, was good at that time. So do I tribunal that or do I just play history? And tribunal the next turn. Next turn I can, like I'll have a lot more bodies. So yeah, I'll give him the Kefnet trigger for a turn here. A lot easier to double spell with the Tribunal next turn with one of these things. So, did give him a free opt though, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I enjoy Arena more than I enjoy Magic Online. They they can just re they can retuck their god back into their library. So it doesn't like really work super well. But I'd like them to draw another Kefnet. Yeah, they're they're not even they're just leaving it there. Oh, do they have a bounce spell? Uh, disenchant. All right. I don't think Ixalan's Binding does anything to the gods, because they can just put it back. Yeah, Ixalan's Binding doesn't do anything to the gods. into battle as your champion of justice. I will lend you my strength. So they're going to be able to kill one of my, like one of my knights by blocking it anyway. So there's no reason to give a knight indestructible. Alright, that worked out. I'm glad that they used their blink of an eye there. And we get to destroy the reclamation. They don't have the blink to save the reclamation. That's good for us. Get that out of here. So I think casting Knight of Autumn was the most important thing for me to do that turn. So I didn't a Johnny and a minus two to make my creatures bigger. Definitely wanted to play Night of Autumn. But we could be much greater together. With me! Prepare for battle! All right, they draw two. Do they find a fog? No fog. 
Dan's game. All right, we beat Nexus this time. Convincingly, 2-0. There we go. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? All right, we are two and two, and we'll play one more to finish, one more to break the tie here. With Celestia tokens. And then we'll, that'll be an hour and a half, and then we'll have an hour and a half for Absan Citadel. And then, so we have like two hours left right now. It's be like this match, then another hour and a half of Absan Citadel. And then I'm going to go see Avengers. Hmm. Tomorrow I'll be back on the normal stream time from 3 to 10. And as y'all can see on Saturday we're doing our sub battle stream. All right, Mono White. We did defeat Mono White earlier. I like our chances if we draw a land here, and if we draw a Conclave or a March of the Multitudes as well. Come on, land drop. No land drop. Sad. Land drop in particular would have been nice here is to have like a two-two to be able to block oh no you're gonna see it tomorrow but then a meeting got scheduled in the mid middle of the movie that's sad all right Adash. good luck with the climbing with the climbing oh you had your ticket and everything already dang I don't block these. Yeah, I'm sure our opponent thinks that we're mono white. Also. So, battle stream is Saturday. Right over here. There's just something wrong with, like, Arena today. It is really jumpy. Like, look at my token that's just, like, jumping around. Look at this thing. I don't like it. We're going to have to get games two and three. I think we can, though. So, Baffling End and Night of Autumn in two Legions landing and Tithe Taker out. It'll be a regular regular stream for the substream. Yeah, it'll be a 12-hour stream if we hit any of our 12-hour uh, stream goals by that point. Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, there's not very many lands in the deck, because this is not a deck that you can really afford drawing a lot of lands. There's 21 lands plus the four flowers, so it's it's almost like playing 25, if you think of it that way. So do I 
Just play Luxodon next turn. Yeah, right, Vale. Glad, glad you're liking Arena. Yeah, glad you're liking Magic. Magic is such a great game. All right. Oh, now I want to play this Amara. I guess I could do that. Yeah, we'll do this. So I won't. Ba we don't need a baffling end here. So we're gonna Amara plus Luxodon. And next turn I can like Baffling End plus Conclave Tribunal. I no, Tub Goat, I don't think you can. I think that there's gonna be as far as I know, there there's just gonna be an email sent out at some point that will let you know your final rank. There's but there's no other way to check for now. No, you can't. You can't convoke with this token that Amara makes because you you have to convoke with Amara. You can't do both. Kind of thing. No, you can't. You can't turn Amara and then turn. No, you, that doesn't work. No. You have to finish casting your spell. Oh, attack. Go ahead. Hey Zephyrs. A lot of options. One thing I absolutely love. I think an important thing is getting Legion's Landing out of here and not letting them flip Legion's Landing. I think that's really important. I'm just going to do that. We're gonna save the baffling end in case of a Benelish Marshal. But now they don't get a flip landing, so that's really good. So I'm I'm happy with how I played this. I'm definitely happy with how how we played this one. Here. Okay. So let's see. So those things are going to go back to being 2-2s. Two I'm going to double block this thing and just trade one of my 3-3s three for their 3-3. Three three. And just single block this. Could just take it all. Just puts me down to 8. That's fine. Yeah, we can take that. We'll just trade We'll just trade these things off. Hey, what's up, 9baller? Welcome back. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yet again. Four months, you are amazing. Sub number 16 on the day.
Not 100% sure if it's correct to cast the flower, but we are two lands away from a flourish. Uh, I like I like Unbreakable Formation more than Pledge of Unity. The problem with this block is that it makes their other attacks like a whole lot better. Can I just take this and go to four? No, I just I just get rid of a token. Definitely considering blocking with the two three threes, but I don't really want Amara to die. All right, so now we can uh, do March for six. Do a tithe taker. It's five. Let's do a tithe taker. You still get six creatures of Amara. We're not getting seven though. for 11 now. Alright, so if I cast March here, one, two, three, four, five, plus seven is 12, so we can do 11. Do I want to trade four of those tokens for just a knight? I gotta tap all these things? Come on, it's not letting me tap. Come on. I'm trying to cast my spell. Let me cast my spell. Seriously?
Come on. Come on, Arena. Should have 11 tokens out there right now. I guess 12 tokens because the Amara. Really frustrating. It's very frustrating. Well, I still like our mono white matchup. I would with Slesnia tokens, like that's the kind of deck you want to play against. You just you're doing similar things, but you're just going bigger than they are. You know, we didn't see a Tristani there, uh, but you know, a Tristani would kind of end the game. But or or a Johnny the Great Hearted, either one. Oh well, um, you know, our, our first game was our Mulligan, just not have only have two lands, can't play anything, and then game. You know, the second game was that. So, oh well, just kind of couldn't couldn't play our spell. Whatever. The deck was pretty good though. The times we drew a Johnny, well, the a Johnny was good for us. Uh, you know, we got smoked by a is it deck where again, game three we only had two lands and couldn't play our stuff. So those kind of games just happen. I don't know. Celestian so token still powerful. Um, yeah, still powerful. Really disappointed in, in that last game. Was there a pay button to do auto tapping? I guess there might have been a button that said pay in the bottom. I didn't really, I didn't see it. I was tr focused on trying to click the cards before the timer ran out, so I, I didn't see the, the pay button. If there was something there that would that would have actually cast my spell. So it would have just tapped to the okay, so that's a that's a new thing to tap things. I didn't I didn't see it because I was trying I was focused on clicking on my cards. I didn't with the time running down, I didn't see it. Oh well, so I, you know, Celestian Tokens finishes with a two three there, but I think it's it's better than that, but oh well. All right, so uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like Selesnia tokens, I think that uh, Johnny the Great Hearted is a good card for the deck. And I like Gideon in the, in the sideboard too. We didn't play against Esper, but that's that's the main thing that Gideon's doing. Uh, I think that Gideon does kind of help that Wilderness Reclamation matchup too, how we got to have that in there of having another thing that after you play it on turn three, it goes to five loyalty immediately basically has to spend two you know like the next turn it goes to six loyalty and then after that then you can use it to get rid of a wilderness reclamation um we went one one against reclamation which kind of sounds about right we're really bad against the fog effect but we have a lot of interaction with them uh with the tribunals the knights the return to nature we have eight enchantment removal spells which is a pretty good number to have um and then you know we have the gideon black blades in there also all right, so if you're watching, yeah, so again, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching.